a patient here with us that has Achilles tendonitis and it's chronic. She'll walk all the time, always painful, regardless of the actual distance of walking. Sometimes with Achilles tendonitis, we'll have a patient that will tell us after about one mile of walking, that's when the pain kicks in, uh, especially with patellofemoral or IT band syndrome. But in this case, she's getting pain all the time, which isn't good. So we've given her a little bit of ergonomics. We've said already that shoes should be a little more comfortable, more stable. Uh, the other thing that we are concerned about is because it's so acute, even though it's a chronic situation, it's an acute exacerbation of a chronic problem, she should wear a heel lift. The heel lift will shorten up on the Achilles tendon and um, she can buy these anywhere. She can get them from a store like a Walgreens or a pharmacy and it should be bilateral, not just on the affected side. So today we're going to tape uh, for anyone to tape it. Her daughter's with her, so we're going to show a, a two or three piece tape job that's very simple to do. Okay. So first thing is we are going to tape and try to keep this ankle in this position, a neutral position. So we're going to make a biomechanical correction. That's what this is called. So we just take a piece of tape. And if you have your pre-cut tape, it's already this particular length. We will trim the ends, fabric on fabric always, because when you trim substrate on substrate, it gets slippery. So when you trim the ends, just fold it in half. And we trim the ends so that it doesn't get caught on clothes and socks. It doesn't come off as easily. Piece of tape goes on the top of the foot. No tension. What we're going to do is ask the patient to dorsiflex as much as she can. We hold this position. We have about 25% uh, tension in the tape, but it will be a high amount of tension on the skin once she goes and plantar flexes, which means bends the toes forward. At that point, we use our hand and kind of rub this in. Now this is a, again, a biomechanical biomechan correction, which she should feel that when this tape is on and she's walking, it's gonna give her a little bit more of a dorsiflexion. Now, if we want it to be more aggressive, which I don't want to at this stage, because she's new to tape, we can actually overlayer this and put an additional layer. If we put an additional layer either side or side, we want to make sure half the sides on tape, half the sides on skin, because it only sticks, the tape would only stick or adhere to skin. It doesn't stick tape on tape. So again, we could double up if we wanted. We don't want to be too aggressive at this point. So now we're going to get, yep, question? No, I was going to say, why does, if it's there, why does it hurt in the back? So this is just the first start of the tape. Oh. We're going to tape the Achilles tendon, yeah. But what we want to do is we want to keep the foot as neutral as possible. You know, we could do some fancy stuff. Um, we had another guy here where I kind of taped his ankle in a subtalar neutral joint, but it's too much. And if she's going to do this commonly on her own at, own at home, it has to be somewhat easy. So one piece of tape that's really easy is for you to see it is this piece. Okay. All right. And again, this piece is going to keep you here. We want to create somewhat of a stretch on this Achilles. So that's where we're going next, OK? So we're going to have Dawn flip over. So you're going to have to do kind of like a lie on your belly. I got gotcha. you. Beautiful. And when we apply tape, we apply it to a pre-stretched tissue, right? So when we do this, yep, and we're going to dorsiflex. And I use my own knee to do this. We will start on the bottom of the heel. We usually don't like to start here because it comes off with socks and sandals and stuff. So we'll start on the bottom. This area from this area will pretty much have no tension in the tape. And because this is a tendon and it's chronic in nature, I'm going to put a lot of t uh, tension through the tape. So I'm going to put more than 50%. All right. We can make this funky and do a Y strip and go up the gastroc or soleus complex. But again, keeping in mind that we want this to be accessible for the patient to put it on herself. So fabric over fabric, we will trim the ends. The starting and ending points always have no tension. So here we go. Right on the bottom of the heel. And no tension up into this point as well. So this is just basically applying it down, no tension. For this part of the actual tendon itself, I'm going to hold here and we're going to apply quite a big strain. So we can see that it's as much as I can go. It's like 100% tension right in the middle of that Achilles. And then we'll take the tape with our other finger and kind of splay it out. And then the rest goes down with no tension. 
So you have this, you have a high area of no tension, no tension, really large amount of tension, like 100% in this area. One more simple piece to kind of cause stimulation to the GTOs, Golgi tendon organs in that area, is going across the actual tendon. And we'll cut a small, about four inch piece of tape here, tear it in half. And this is gonna go right. Do you have more pain in this area or up here? Here? Okay. Find the painful area for the patient, keeping her foot there, 100% tension, downward pressure, and then no tension on those ends. 100%, as much as I could. All right, so her feet don't have hyperhidrosis, not excessive sweating. If they did, or she's going in the water or beach, then I'd probably put some spray adherent on here, but I think we'll be okay with this. So I'll get all my stuff off the table. We'll have Dawn come on up. And we'll see how it feels. Mm -hmm. I guess it's just because it's so inflamed. Yeah, so she's got a large amount of swelling in the ankle prior to starting. Um, and that's why I wouldn't really want to tape the ankle with excessive strapping around the ankle. It's not going to really do much. But we did already give her some ergonomic advice. Better shoes, more cushioning, heel lifts to help shorten up on that Achilles. And uh, icing after a long day. That should icing. help. Yeah, no heat ice. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome.